Greetings, Mavical Mavericks. I am Lady Victoria Silver Sage of witchcraftandmore.com, and I welcome you to Maverick Tarot. For those of you who have newly subscribed, I thank you sincerely. And for those of you who have been with me for a very long time, I thank you also. Those of you who have not yet subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Take this as an invitation to subscribe. Okay, I have already gone ahead and meditated over the cards. I have also cleansed the cards, so the only thing left to do is to call in my spiritual support team and get busy. So give me just a moment to do this, please. Dear guardian angels, dear angels, dear archangels, dear guardians, dear ancestors, dear guides, dear goddess, dear god, dear highest universal source, I call upon you now and ask that you please channel to me the message that you wish for me to relay to those who are watching this video and help me to read the cards and give out the messages in a way that everyone can understand for their own highest good and for the highest good of others. Thank you sincerely. Blessed be. I'm going to go ahead and start with the Denise Lynn uh, Angel cards to get our basis, foundation of this reading. I'm going to go ahead and take this one here for the crowning of our reading. I'm going to take one more for the fundament. Oop, okay, maybe I'll take more than that. It looks like I've got a total of three that came out. The first one that's crowning this reading is Victory. Victory. It says here, Archangel Sandalphon, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. We shall set this here. The next one that came out is Relationship Harmony. Whoa, Relationship Harmony. Archangel Raguel, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. That's an excellent card to get. Okay. The next one here is Angel Therapy that jumped out. Angel Therapy. Angels have a lot to say to us on this magical Monday. Archangel Raphael, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Ooh, that is a very nice one to have. And the last one that jumped out is, oh my goodness, clear your space. Clear your space. Archangel Jophiel, get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, and use feng shui. Okay, the next card that I'm going to pull is a tarot card from my Gilded Tarot deck. Okay, we've got two that decided they wanted to come out. And we have the Two of Cups, which is also the relationship card. It's also a card of um, collaboration. It's a card of uh, having to make a decision in some cases. Um, it looks like with this victory card that's here, any type of decisions that you're going to be needing to make regarding any type of relationships, whether it be friendships, romantic, or uh, work relationships, um, if you take the time to actually consult with your higher self or with your goddess or God or um, with whomever it is that you consult on, um, who is, who is I should say, higher than yourself, okay, um, if you take the time to do this, then all of this should seem to work out very, very well for you. Um, also, in regard to another card that just jumped out, is the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles is a very auspicious card because that means that money is flowing nicely for you. Relationships are flowing nicely for you. So anything that's going on in your life right now, as long as you take the time to really sit down and study what's going on, um, 
for me, I would consult with my angels because I collaborate with them quite often. Uh, that really helps situations to clear out that have been giving me a hard time or other people around me a hard time. So maybe you could try this also because um, this is just really one good way to experience the victory of everything that is coming into your life this week. I'm going to put this more to the edge here because we've got some more cards that we are going to pull. Okay, the next one that I'm going to pull for you is going to be one of the Viking ruins. Okay, so let me go ahead and shuffle these. See if anything is going to pop out or if I'm going to need to consult with... Whoop, there we go. That one just flew out. This is Rido. And this is uh, regarding transportation and movement and travel, adventure, moving forward, freedom, integrity, journeys of all sorts. So you guys, you might be getting ready to go on a physical journey or you might be getting ready to go on an emotional or mental or spiritual journey. So, you know, whatever you're doing, like I said, just make sure that you... Uh, collaborate is what I call it with your angels or with your higher self your goddess your god however you relate to the higher power collaborate with them first to get the information that you need in order to be victorious right here victorious excellent card my goodness Yes, I'm going to go ahead and pull one of the Angel Spirit cards because I absolutely love these cards. So much good information and that's why you guys are here to get information about what's going on. Whether it's in this week that you're watching it or if it's in uh, a time period that might be coming up because as you guys well know, um, time just flows. Okay, so whenever this reading comes to you or you find this reading, that's when it's meant to be in your life. And that's when you're going to see a lot of different things transforming in your life. This card shot out. We had this last time. It's called the Panda. And this is where you set boundaries. You've got to set your boundaries. Your space is sacred. Guests who overstay their welcome impact your aura. And you have every right to stand your ground. Your needs are important. Please remember that. Your needs are important. You must nurture your soul with the same gentle love and support you offer to others. Set your boundaries, stand your ground, and be sure to give the same respect and love and nurturing uh, that you give to others to yourself. That is something that a lot of people um, don't, don't do. I don't know. I'm going to have to put these down a little bit. I'm going to do one more, which is the Silver Sage Oracle. Yeah, I'm giving you a lot of information this week. And... I just want to let you know that I do uh, private readings. Right now you can get three uh, answers to three questions for $33. Uh, dollars. And if you need to go a little bit more in depth than just three questions, I can allow one or two more questions over with, you know, as, as my gift to you, I guess you could say. So if you'd like to have a private reading for yourself, let me know and I will set that up for you. Okay, we got this card that is just hanging here. Something is being hidden from you. Something is being hidden from you. Let's elaborate on that card because I'm not going to leave you with a card that came out like that. That is just, that would be just really cruel to leave you like that. What is this one here? It's okay to feel sad and cry for a little while, but then get back up stronger than before. Let me read that again. It's okay to feel sad and cry for a little while, but then get back up stronger than before. Don't look at my fingernails. I haven't done them yet. Sorry. <laughs> okay, you guys, this really could be in regard to relationships. Um, 
love relationships, friendship relationships, work relationships, any type of relationships you can think about. Okay, it seems like there is something brewing in the background that you don't know about. It's something that is going to eventually come to the light if you sit down and you know have that um, collaboration conference with your um, your spiritual support team call on them especially during this time because it seems like something is really going on behind the scenes that you don't even know about and something is about to pop off but if you handle it properly just rest rest assured that it's going to be where did my victory card go right here <laughs> rest assured it's going to uh turn out victorious but you have you have some work that you're going to have to do you're going to have to clear away some of the clutter and things like that you're really going to have to do something that you might not want to do something that a lot of people don't like to do and that is meditate and i will be one of the first to say i don't like to meditate i do not like it but i can tell you that when i do it it helps it also helps to, um, when you meditate, it helps to strengthen the dreams you have when you're actually asleep, you know, whenever you sleep and, and you have dreams. It, haps, it helps to strengthen those dreams, thereby giving you the messages that you need in order to resolve a situation or find out what's going on behind your back, what might be going on behind your back. So yes, this is what I've got for you today. If you've gotten anything out of this reading, if it resonated with you in any way, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up on that. And be sure to share my videos with other people that you care about and get your people that you care about or don't care about to subscribe to my channel. You guys, I'm wishing you an absolutely magical week. And I say stay safe, stay curious, and I'm sending you the brightest of magical blessings. We'll see you the next time. Have a wonderful week.